Hey guys, Jojo here today on Roblox. We're playing some more Project Pokemon, as you can see on the screen right now. Today, we're going to be showing you how to use Rayquaza and how, how I'm specifically going to use using Rayquaza. So Rayquaza and Project Pokemon, I'll say, it doesn't get Dragon X Ascent, which I believe it requires, I think that's the move it requires to Mega Evolve. Um, but I'll say in this game, it can't Mega Evolve. But uh, the most I'm going to be running is going to be Dragon Dance, Dragon Claw, like Extreme Speed and Earthquake. Couldn't really think of a better moveset for it in Project Pokemon because Swordance is a TM, but I don't exactly remember where to get the Swordance TM from because apparently I don't have it. So I'm gonna just go with Dragon Dance because also we do only have a hundred base speed, which I've got an Adamant Nature. Jolly could also work. So if you really wanted to, you could run Jolly or a Naive set, and you could run instead of. Dragon Dance, you could run Dragon Accent, Dragon Claw, Extreme Speed and Earthquake, that also works. V-Crit is also a null move that Rayquaza gets. Not in Project Pokemon though, unfortunately, but this is it. Oh, this is the uh, new aura for uh, Rayquaza, I could have built it, which is Chill, which looks pretty chill, I guess. So we'll give it a life out just to do a bit more damage. We give it Adamant, because um, there are a lot of Pokemon in Project Pokemon that have speeders that are very commonly used, like Mewtwo, which can one-hit chaos with an Ice Beam. Dark Fire speeds against Dark Voiders. Um, obviously, to EV train, I would suggest spe speeds and physical attack. Or if you wanted to, you could take a little out of physical attack and put into special attack for Draco Meteor if you really wanted to. But if you do run that set, you only can use Draco Meteor once. And then if you want to use it again in the same battle, you have to make sure that you swap out and then swap back in to get that minus two special attack to get it reinverted back to zero. But anyway, to EV train's. Speeds, we want to type in ISO, oh wait, I've forgotten the underscore, ISO underscore speeds, this is going to give you for all the speeds, EV, just follow this guy until your speed EVs are done, make sure to um, use a, use a stat reset before, before battling him to make sure that you're getting the correct IVs, and then for the uh, physical attack, we want to just type in ISO underscore attack, and then for special attack, you just want to do SP, Attack. So I'll just quickly show you all of them and just like show you that they work because some of the bots I sometimes input them wrong So I don't want to tell you the wrong ones and then for ISO underscore SP attack For special attack. So that is the three that he really wants. He could try and run a defensive vehicles if he wants I'm not gonna, I'm gonna tell you probably isn't the smartest decision because um, if I quickly go show you space stats really quickly now Just like show you like what it's working with. It has a ton of physical attack and special attack 100 base speed, which is an insane, but I mean, it's outspeeding a lot of tanks, which I guess is okay, but that's pretty much all it's going to outspeed a lot of tanks and kind of mediocre Pokemon, but Rayquaza is, oh actually it's not even base 100 speed, it's base 9 to 5, I got that completely wrong, I mean, it's got tanking capabilities, but with that 4 times weakness to ice, it's got 2 times weakness to rock, to dragon, to fairy, freaking ton of weaknesses, wouldn't really recommend it. It's tanking capabilities, you can t let it take like a, maybe a rock slide from specific Pokemon. But I mean, the main thing that you want to use is it's a physical attack and a special attack. So, like I said, Draco Meteor is a good option if you want to run on it. If you come across like a Tangler, which is a, pretty much like a, the opposite of a Chancer, or a Blisser, it's really good for physical, or, as a physical wall, very weak on the special side, so Draco Meteor could get you past that, but rarely people use them anymore. Uh, obviously, speed is 90. I would suggest running a Jolly Nature. But for me specifically, I have Dragon Dance. I'm hoping to just be able to like make some predictions, get a Dragon Dance off, and just outspeed what I need to. IVs are all maxed. EVs, we haven't actually EV trained it, so I'm going to qu go quickly EV train it in speeds and physical attack. And I guess the rest of it I'll just pour into hit points, I guess. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, and we are back. So let me just tell DK and Graf really quickly send Mewtwo out first. So. Uh, he says that his Mewtwo is EV trained, IV, I got flight maxed out on IVs, and should have Ice Beam is what I mainly want it for to see. Because else is going to one hit KO me. But I want to see how much damage a Rayquaza can do to Mewtwo. I didn't check the damage calculation on Mewtwo, but mainly I know is that it's not going to end well. So we're going to extreme speed. So I'll say Mewtwo outspeeds us, because it's probably going to have tim Timids. Or mod actually, a modest one will also outspeed. So we're going to extreme speed so we can outspeed to get the priority. With EV trained in special speed and a physical attack. Oh, the critical hit can't even one-hit KO it either, so unfortunate, close, but like I said, so that doesn't work out. So let's try a Dark Rai. Okay, you got a Dark Rai 2. So if it does, I'm going to send out Weavile and just quickly run, but shout out to um, Decaying Wrath or Wraith to uh, helping me on that. 
but um okay not ev trains does anyone have a fully ev train dark cry because uh, i've checked the damage calculation on dark cry locals dark cry is very quick although we are still out damage it the main reason why is because we can extreme speed the first time do over half damage if he misses his dark void which most dark cries might do then we can extreme speed again and then ko the dark cry i believe dark cry may or may not get ice beam which i don't think too many people have run ice beam on a dark cry i think the majority of people have run is dark voids dark pulse focus blast and something else i don't remember right now but uh, okay so villager has is it ev trains okay let me see if it's ev trains okay so uh, villager let's have a look the dark cry because that's kind of, I, I guess it doesn't really matter uh if it is ev train so i'll show like the damage output okay it'll do it'll do okay let's go for the up titan where is his name there we go send him a battle but is, is it okay oh wait, no is it was it villager turn on battles so i can test it against my ray this is, so yeah uh oh wait it's, it's not uptight okay uptight wants to battle i'll battle him actually is it uptight that wants to battle okay uptight wants to battle i'll battle him after like a full fledged out battle you can on me okay let's see um i want to test it against dark cry before I battle since they are the mo most common Pokemon to find in PvP, in Project Pokemon at least. Anyway, uh, after I test, I, got, I gotta test first just like people know what to expect with specific things. I think Decaying, did you have one DK? Okay, so apparently a villager isn't able to okay looks like villager isn't able to i guess i'll try dk again because i think he said he had one but isn't ev trained doesn't really matter from the evs i just want to see how much damage you can output so uh yeah can i battle um how do i miss this guy whisper d yeah but do you have a dark cry at all that i can just test against because if we can that'll be great you just want to see how much extreme speed does so it looks like a critical hit close to taking another Mewtwo which is good but not enough so I'd suggest swapping out against Mewtwo if you still do play this game also I don't very much I just do these little videos trying to explain how to run specific Pokemon or how I would run them if I still play this game that's fine uh the kid let's see if he has it in his team but yeah, that is perfect. Oh, that's a cat. I need to go, go on for Ultra Beast. I might do Ultra Beast next, uh, but I don't have any. I don't really know if I want to hunt for them, to be honest, because it's probably going to take me a long time. Plus, right now, I got a lot of stuff going on, which is unfortunate. Okay. Okay, it's got the Dark Cry. I think it's a shiny one as well. Damn. Okay, uh, currently busy. Uh, let me just send him a quick message. Steve, tell me when you're ready. Okay, I think it's red up. So let's let's see what he's actually oh, who his actual team. He's got like Skyman. He's got Scizor. He's got two Scizors. Why do you need two? <laughs> okay, let's try this. Um, okay, send out the Rayquaza. What moves you got? Oh, I spelled uh, what wrong. But I guess I'll try it against like a non EV train because I guess mo a lot of people don't EV train. So I guess it's okay to like test against this as well. Um. Okay, let's try next extreme speed then, because obviously the defenses should be okay. I'm going to open up really quickly the damage calculations again. Let's see how much damage... I Oh, it has Ice Beam. Okay, use Ice Beam. Okay, so... Uh, so some Okay, so Rayquaza, I mean Darkrai, does get Ice Beam. A very rare that I see it, though, which is weird. So, if they, if you, know, like, 100% know that they don't have Ice Beam, which, um, then I'd say just extreme speed or you might be able to set up against it if they like, miss a dark vibe but very risky so i'd extreme speed it but if it does have ice beam and you know that 
probably the best to like stay away from it. So Dark Cry, you can take down just if it doesn't have Ice Beam. Mewtwo, you're not gonna really gonna take them. If you get lucky and get a critical hit against the Dark Cry, sure, but I think most of them either run Life Orb or Focus Ash. In my opinion, I think Focus Ash is a little bit better. But um, yeah, so right now in Project Pokemon, wouldn't really suggest using Ray Claws against either of them. Like, unless, like I said, you know like, the Dark uh, the Dark Cry doesn't have Ice Beam. Anyways, try some battles, so on. I guess we'll... Okay, you ready? Up tight. I guess we'll do a few battles. How, actually, how long have we been recording so far? For, like, four minutes? So it's like a ten minute video so far. I think we can get, like, pff, a ton of battles. A ton. Oh, whoops. Okay, you ready? Up tight. That's better up right. Up tight. Send him a battle. Okay, so I think we're gonna go for like a full out battle, see what he is using. Uh, Garchomp, Dusclops, Volcrona, Lucario, Swamp, and a Porygon Z Zeds? I think that's a Porygon Z, or Z, as the Americans would call it. So, the only problem is, to be honest as well, is that Garchomp outspeeds Rayquaza. Obviously, Rayquaza has a lot more special on physical attack, attack, you know, attack and special attack, and I think more defenses, or at least special defense on HP, I wanna say. I'm not 100% sure about that, I might, I might be wrong, which if I am, then I'll let you know, but let's try this out. I'm going to get the Garchomp's first, so I just want to take it down with an Ice Punch. So this is good, so Rayquaza obviously is very lackluster, unless you have the Mega, which I'm, I don't know, I'm kind of hoping it doesn't get released into Project Pokemon, but at the same time, I guess it doesn't really matter if it is released into Project Pokemon, because I mean, the meta is like completely screwed up with no abilities, like, Pokemon destroy things like Regigigas and Slaking destroy Project Pokemon because their abilities aren't in the game, so obviously they just run rampant, which is kind of a little, it's, it's kind of a bad thing to be honest. And he also has a Swampert as well, interesting. Actually, he has a, I've, I think I've used most of these Pokemon, I've used, I mean, four out of the six I've kind of used, I haven't used Dusclops, so I'm gonna lean towards Eviolite. What did he just use against me, Earthquake? I'm guessing so. Let's uh, go for a Destiny Bond, see what happens. Swamp is a big threat to my team, to be honest, so I'll just try and take it down. Is it enough to one-hit KO me? It is not. Critical hit? Damn. Damn. Okay, let's just use it again. I'm not sure if Project Pokemon updated Destiny Bond, so I'll only get like, the Protect chances, but I'll just take down the uh, Swamp. It is a big threat for my spe team specifically. The Porygon Z, or Z, uh, I'm just going to say Z, I really hate, oh I forgot I left this item, I don't even have Life Orb, so that cr a critical hit with a Life Orb on a Rayquaza might be enough to t critical hit a one hit kill on Mewtwo, and I guess a Rayquaza, so I need to put the Life Orb back on that I forgot to put it back on. Um, it's going to the Swampert, it's going to go to the Dusclops, not sure how good this is, but I guess we'll see. We have a... I think I'm just going to waterfall it. He's going to go for a Will-O-Wisp, I'm going to guess. I could potentially flinch. Confuser, okay, never mind. Rayquaza might have been good, but if it does have a Will-O-Wisp, that's also going to be annoying. Okay, I'm going to use Earthquake. So, yeah, it looks like it is an Eviolite. It does clop, so... Is it a Resto... Ch it's not a Resto Chesto, then, is it? It's going to be just an Eviolite set. So, no ch Resto Chesto. So, play another Earthquake, it should be able to 2 hit KO, Snapchat Confusion, that's nice. Critical hit would be nice, no. Double team. Oh, it's one of those Dusclops. I don't, I just realised as well, what was my Pokemon that I just lost? Gengar? I have one special attack, my team can all be will o wisp which is quite annoying. Earthquake hit some more. So it's one of, it's one of those Pokemon, we just hit it again, which is nice, gonna confuse Remy again. Also. Okay, we could go into the Weavile and as like no, I don't think that's a good idea. We need it for the for the Garchomp. Earthquake yet again has no levitating Pokemon, which is good, I guess. Probably Mega Lucario it is absurdly strong, and we hit it again. Oh my gosh, the yeah, like, accuracy does not work in Project Pokemon. To be honest, it's very broken. I, I it's, apparently it's not meant to be broken, but it appears broken like. For me specifically, if I use double team, I'm always going to get hit. If anyone else uses double team, like more than once, I'm never going to hit them. 
But if I did it, no. But this guy just got pre unlocked so Sometimes it seems like it's broken. I'm not really sure why, but okay. Go for an ice punch. If I hit myself, that's gonna suck, but I'm not sure if a gas jump can one hit KO us. Mega gas jump? Okay, I was expecting the mega Lucario completely throwing me off when using a. Is that a shiny gas jump? I can't tell. I'm gonna guess it is because it's pink. Uh, ice punch. I don't think I've got hit yet. That kind of sucks for him. Okay, taking it down to half hit points, which is nice. Also, the Mega Gash one's pretty tanky, plus we burn, so it's gonna just tank a super effective hit. Okay, let's go for another Ice Punch. Should do a... I think it's gonna be enough to take it down now. Wait, did he get an Earthquake? Did he get a Soul Dance off? I wasn't really paying attention, but I'm gonna guess it did. Oh wait, now our now Big Closet might outspeed it. So it goes from 102 to 92, but it probably has Jolly. Oh, that means he'll outspeed us still. But I can't use the Rayquaza, well I can use the Beedrill, but that's a bad idea. That's a very bad idea. Let's just go into the Weavile. We can still use the Rayquaza against the Lucario because we have Earthquake. And I guess against the Volcarona as well. Let's go for an Ice Punch. We have Speeds, obviously, and plus we should have the Focus Ash. Or do I have the Life Orb set? I don't- I want to say Focus Ash, but I think the Life Orb set is slightly better. So I- I, I don't know, whatever. And apparently the, the wish is added in a feature where the server will tell you when new swarms happen. So, I mean, that's pretty cool to find the Shaman Swarm, I guess, a lot easier. Um, let's go for a knockoff, just to, like, knock off a, a life orb, maybe. Bend the way it has, I guess. Not very effective. Because I didn't even have any items. Nice. Okay, it probably has extreme speed, which it'll probably use. Its defense are going to get decreased, which is fine with me. I don't think Porygon Z gets any, or doesn't get, uh, I think it doesn't have Levitate. And Brick Break, which uh, should be okay. So not a Porygon, oh wait, okay, nice. I guess I'll take it. But like, they did close combat, so that's pretty predictable, I guess. So if you already used Dust Clops with, I'm gonna guess Eviolite, it seemed like it was tank, really tanky. I'm surprised he didn't use, or he's not using Porygon 2 instead of Porygon Z, or Z. Okay. Hey, critical hit, okay, we've all just run off them with a show. Because you could just run another Evie like Pokemon like have another really good tank. So Porygon. I, I think that's Porygon Z. I I, I wanna say it is, I don't a hundred percent know. It's a pure normal type. Let's just knock off an item because it might be a uh, life orb set. Looks like it is. Oh it, it didn't say I knocked off an item, so I'm guessing it didn't have an item, that just did a lot of damage on. Um, Porygon Z might outspeed our Rayquaza, which is gonna suck. But I guess we'll see. Let's go for a Dragon Claw. Can we outspeed? We do outspeed it. Is that enough to KO it? Looks like it is. Give him the GG. Yeah, I need to put on Life Orb on this Rayquaza, cause... The, uh, Life Orb's gonna obviously do a little bit of recall damage, but it's worth it, since we have 150 base physical attack and special attack, so Life Orb is worth using. So quickly put that back on because I just finished EV training it. I thought like EV trained like a few weeks ago, but apparently not. Okay, who? Oh wait, Master of. Okay, I think Decaying wanted to battle, so I'm gonna battle Decaying again. Uh, Whisper D, you want to battle? I'll please give you a free Chrome Groudon. I don't really need one. I think I've already got one. Yes, yeah, so this is this one, right? I already have one. I don't really need any more because I'd never really get on this game to like do any more giveaways. See if uh, Decaying wants to battle, looks like he is. Okay, let's battle Decaying then. Okay, so Mewtwo, it's two Scizors, a Volcano, a Skymin, and a Kartana, which is, uh, I want to say Steel Grass. I think, isn't it like a paper, paper, I'm going to get this so wrong, I don't, I don't remember how to pronounce it, like, I was going to say Masha. No, mache, but it's not. It's not that. Like one of those little swans people make out of paper. I don't exactly remember what it's called. I feel like uh, let's start off with. Sizz. Oh no, I didn't bring any Pokemon with fire type moves. The two scissors might be a problem. So since I've got two scissors, I'm gonna guess one of them is. His, actually, yeah, one of them is his Mega, because Me Mewtwo doesn't have a Mega right now, I believe. I hope this Mewtwo doesn't have Energy Ball, because that would suck. Earthquake it. Um, side Strike, tank it. Okay, it's going to be... A two, oh, Earthquake going to do some good amount. I think we might live another Side Strike. We might just get a bad damage roll, 
He might get he might get a bad one. I guess we'll see. Tank. Yeah, there we go. Swamp it taking down the Mewtwo was not expecting that, but I'll take it. Um the Skyme will lock speed us and just one hit kills with an energy ball. Oh, you could send up the Katana. Okay, no, it is gonna be the Skyman. Could swap out, but we don't need to. Let's just go for the Ice Punch. He might predict me swapping out. Go for a Growth. Seed Flare. Oh, wait, miss. That's going to cost him badly. That's going to cost you, unfortunately. So, yeah, I forgot that Seed Bomb is actually... Or Seed Flare is in this game for uh, Skyman. So, technically, Skyman is technically better in Project Pokemon than Brick Bronze because it has all of its moveset. But... Again, the flinch chance might be slightly off and not like a hundred percent accurate like it was meant to be. I mean if the evasion isn't it like to me it seems broken, although people tell me that it's not. It just seems broken. It doesn't seem like it's fully fledged out like I'm working. So that's just my opinion at least, and I might be wrong, which if I might I'm pretty sure I might be. Okay, bullet punch can we tank that? Nope. Oh the crickle here, that's gonna suck. Um, what do we do now? Rayquaza? I think we can tank a hit. Let's try it. Okay, Rayquaza, he's a Dragon Dance. We can Earthquake. He's gonna go for a Bullet Punch. Or swap out into his Ullus. Actually, why would he swap into his Ullus, is all? Okay, Volcarona. Too bad I don't have... Is it Dragon Ascent like a Fly-type move? Or is it a Dragon? It's called Dragon Ascent. But I won't say it's Flying-type, I might be completely wrong. Okay, let's go for a Dragon Claw for the stab. I like stab. Okay, is that going to be enough? It is going to be enough. So, Rayquaza, also, once you get like a free Dragon Dance off, you can just spam extreme speed. You're going to one hit KO a lot of things, except from like mainly rock and steel types or just any tanky Pokemon, I guess. Obviously, again, Scizor, Earthquake. Earthquake's most likely, just, again, just like hit steel and rock types because they are both weak to ground. And Mega Scizor, though, I just realized like, this is his second one. So, also, like I said, Earthquake just to hit Steel and Ground type. Oh no, Steel and Rock types, that extreme speed can't hit. Also, again, Steel resists Dragon as well. So, I need to make sure that I can break through that. Okay, gonna break, break a Flying type, I'm okay with that. Let's go for another Earthquake. He should Bullet Punch me this time. Or not. Okay, maybe he doesn't have Bullet Punch. But I usually like always running Bullet Punch on my Scizor. That's what it's kind of known for, always bullet punching. Mega Me Me Metagross isn't really known for the bullet punch to be honest that much. It's mostly known for like, running Ice Punch instead of it. And it's just the exact same set that I believe I run on my... Um... Oh, I just realised this is a bad Pokemon for us to go up against. I'm not sure how tanky it is. I think on the special side, it's just like dead. It's so fragile. But I think it's a, I want to say it's a Steel Grass type, so... Dragon Claw and Extreme Speed are resisted. Earthquake is only... Actually, it's not only neutral, so I guess that isn't too bad. So Earthquake again. Do we outspeed it? No, he outspeeds with a Protect. That is okay. We have the... B drill, which I think is going to be like... Just destroy the Katana. I think Katana is really quick and hit very hard. I think maybe Tanky? Okay. Looks like it's got a... Like a good enough bulk on the physical side at least. Gonna Saw Dance. I'm just gonna Extreme Speed. So I mm, hopefully get a KO. If not, that's okay. That is okay. Gonna Protect again. Not sure why, but okay. Wait, what? How did we break through that? How did we break through a Protect with Extreme Speed? That is... Stupid. How? What? 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 How? Um, I'm not sure how my extreme speed went through your protect. I have no idea how that happened, but um, I guess we'll earthquake again. I have no, I have no idea. I'm sorry. Oh, it just four hit points. But yeah, I mean, clearly this game is broken. I mean, <clears throat> uh, GG. <laughs> what? I didn't say anything. <laughs> anyway, there. Anyone else want to battle? Let's see if anyone else wants to battle. Um, yes. Okay, let's battle Kevin. I feel like we've battled Kevin quite a few times before. Uh, let's see what his team is. Hopefully not like nothing bad. Oh gosh, what is, why do you have a Pidgey? <laughs> okay, I guess we'll do it. He's got battles turned off.
I will, after I get these Pokemon leveled up. Okay, that might take me a little while because I got a lot to do tonight. I'm sorry. Okay. Doesn't, wait, doesn't up Didn't we already battle up tight? Yeah, we did. Yes, I already battled, but I think Master wanted to battle. Uh, what is it? What is it? Actually, what does he have? He also has the Kyoko. Wait, what? I've, I just gonna have the pink version? <laughs> okay, that looks, looks okay. Um, yes. Anyone else want to bell? What mystery code gives? Mystery code, new code every Monday. Okay, we got Kevin. Let's see what his team is. I wonder if he's still got the Pidgey. That's gonna be. In he still has a Pidgey. And wait, enter nickname here. <laughs> team Rocket. <laughs> What's this guy's team? <laughs> okay, then. That's uh, um, very interesting. Wait, do does my Gengar have a life orb? I don't remember. Hmm. Start off with this. Why. Do you have a Pidgey? <laughs> oh. Okay, so I'm for the Sableye. A uh, Dark Ghost type, only weak to Fairy. Do, I don't even think we have any Fairy type moves. Dark off, it is one. Oh, Will the Wisp. I hate you, Sableye. Wait, is Prankster in the game? It, it might be. It just might be. No, item was knocked off. What does a Sableye hold? Leftovers? I don't know. I don't even know what it has. It'll knock off again. Okay. Foul play. Why would you burn someone and then foul play? The burn d reduces my attack. That doesn't, like, that doesn't seem like the best idea that you ever had, but I mean, okay. Let's go for an ice punch. See if we potentially get a swap in. Okay, never mind. A freeze. No. Tank the burn. Do it. Five hit points. Okay, this is the dream. This is where dreams are made. This is where dreams. Oh, I just realized we don't have anything for his gas chomp. We might potentially lose. Oh, he's got to recover. <laughs> no, forgot. I completely didn't know that pranks was actually added into this game, but apparently it is. Apparently it is. So that means, what do I do? Because I have no idea. I guess I'll go into the Gengar. This is probably a bad idea. A very bad idea. Sludge Bomb, I guess. Uh, <laughs> returning it into the Gengar? No, the Pidgey. Predicting what? I, I guess the Destiny Bonds. Yeah, that thing. Okay. Still got the Life Orb. He has the uh, Psychic type, which I think we can one hit KO. Weavile. Don't we outspeed you? I'm pretty sure we do. Let's see what he's gonna do. He might actually start sword. Oh no, he has. Wait, what? Weavile's 125 base. Isn't Gengar 130? Let me check. 178. 178. There are 100. That's 110 base. Oh, freaking. As I thought. 130 base speed is Alkazam speeds. How did I screw that up so bad? <laughs> uh, okay, no, never mind, okay. Yeah, that that didn't happen. Don't know what you're talking about. It's bullet punch. You might predict me saw dancing. Or not, bullet punch. Is that going to be enough? There's a focus sash. Fire punch? Hopefully not. Knock off, okay. Uh, rip. Oh, wait, it doesn't even tell you what item he knocks off. I'm not... I don't know, I feel like it should, probably should tell you. I don't think it really matters if you know what item it was when you knocked it off. Then again, I guess some items kind of give away the moveset, but I mean still. I think it should tell you what items are, item you just knocked off, but I mean, that's just me, I guess. Sableye. Ah, <sighs> Sableye. Can you just... Actually, I probably should have x but okay. Bullet Punch. Please. Yes, the critical hit. Not sure if that helped me or not, but I'll take it. Kaylin, I think this is going to be the last battle for today. Okay, Team Rocket is this thing. I'm going to go for another bullet punch. I don't even I don't even care. I don't even care. Okay, don't even care. That did not a lot. He's going to Fire Fang. I do have the Swamper, which I guess I'll just go for a Ice Punch. And if he's going to swap out into the Alkazam, I'll go into my... 
Oh yeah, my scissors already down. I think it was just on the field and just got KO'd. Um, what does Mega Beedrill have on it again? <laughs> oh, that is not good. No, I might potentially lose. And he had a Pidgey as well. I used to stop like, getting rid of Pokemon so early on. Like, if I stop doing that, I should be good. He's not gonna swap out. <laughs> you critical hitting me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Wow. Was not expecting that. Um, has he mega yet? I don't think he has. I don't think he has. Now what do I do? <laughs> no, stop. Just stop. Gonna have to mega. Gonna have to. Poison job's gonna be resisted, so his X's are. Uh, do I drill a run? I don't think I do. I think I go for the poison jab and hope that for a critical hit. Which oh, I'm just uh screw it. Please, please, just do it. Just do it. This is gonna end so poorly. I'm gonna just rage quit really quickly. Please be enough. Yes, critical hit. That's what you get, Garchomp. That's what you get. Critical hit me, I'm gonna critical hit you back. Well, this still kinda sucks. Well, the Alkazam should most likely have this mega. Okay, okay. Whew. Whew. We got this. We got this. Probably not. I'm gonna lose. No, it is a Mega Alkazam, damn it. Okay, so he didn't already use Mega. Please, I'll speed it. It's got 150 base speed. Hopefully, it's not EV trained. Please! <laughs> I think we won. <laughs> this, how did this guy almost build me a freaking Pidgey on his team? I mean, I did kind of sacrifice a Weavile. Stupid limit, I should have saved for the Garchomp, but still! Cl too close. Too close. Just, no. Please, is that enough to KO? It is. Give him the GG, but I think we'll leave it off there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to comment to see more Project Pokemon or any other games on Roblox. I think maybe instead next week I might start on the Ultra Beast. Let me know in the comments which Ultra Beast you'll let me to start on firstly. Oh, I guess as the first, and I guess I'll work down on them to see which one is more popular. Also, I still need to get them, so I just might trade for them. I don't think it really matters, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, and like always, I'll see you guys next time.